14 billion years ago, and we have no idea what happened before it. And we're still expanding, as we will forever. Interstellar space, one of the last great mysteries of space exploration. To this day, only the Voyager 1 and 2 probes have reached the great void beyond our solar system. Voyager 1 encountered there with 300 unknown objects, causing fear and panic among scientists. What exactly were these objects, and why do they pose such a threat to us? Stay with us to find out everything you need to know about this discovery and prepare for a journey far beyond the known. Voyager 1 detects plasma in interstellar space. While billions of kilometers away from home, the NASA Voyager 1 spacecraft achieved a significant milestone in space exploration. In 2012, it became the first spacecraft in history to reach interstellar space. Scientists and engineers had never imagined witnessing this when they launched Voyager 1 and its twin probe, Voyager 2, on their journey in 1977. The missions of these probes were originally designed for just a few years, and yet, for 45 years, they have been relentlessly flying through space. Last year, something strange happened. Voyager 1 had been passing the heliopause boundary for over 10 years. A stream of particles reached its instruments where it shouldn't have been. More than 300 unknown particle forms were measured, shocking scientists. In the open space, such density of particles wasn't expected. Particle density sharply decreases in interstellar space. The peculiar flow resembled an actual bombardment. It both bewildered and fascinated. Particle flows always indicate the presence of forces, but these measurements initially made no sense. There were speculations that we might be on the verge of discovering new fundamental forces which could permanently alter our understanding of the universe. To comprehend the significance of processes at the edge of our solar system, we must first answer what interstellar space is in relation to our solar system. The heliosphere is our home. We must understand that the sun is not a stationary place. Our sun is a powerful machine hurtling through the galaxy at a speed of approximately 725,000 kilometers per hour. Streams of plasma emanating from the outer reaches of the sun extend along invisible lines and distribute evenly, like a sphere or shell around the sun and its planets. This protective force field is known as the heliosphere. Without the flows emanating from the sun, we would know neither warmth nor life, but, as we all know, particle streams can also be perilous. Fierce solar winds can temporarily disrupt or irritate our entire electromagnetic network, potentially causing power source failures or telecommunication breakdowns, for example. However, when viewed in a cosmic context, these plasma streams from the sun are more protective than perilous. From the outside, from interstellar space, we face threats such as radiation and strong magnetic fields. These forces and the streams of tiny particles are relics of the early days of our universe. To this day, these flows and forces persist in the space between the stars, interacting wherever they encounter other forces or celestial bodies. At the edge of our solar system, interstellar forces collide with the forces of our sun. Therefore, the discovery of new particles is a surprise in several respects and may also pose a threat. Of course, we should not expect the heliosphere to leave us, but we still know too little about the processes occurring far in space to be certain of the absence of danger from there. The first samples of electrically charged plasma. Research into the plasma filling interstellar space, as well as the outskirts of the solar system, was an astronomical first. Researchers were fortunate that Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 reached the heliosphere boundaries, passed through the heliopause, and ultimately entered the fringes of interstellar space at entirely different times and locations. This allowed scientists to compare valuable data. The measurements from both space probes reveal numerous similarities, such as the particle density they measured in interstellar space. However, what's captivating is that both probes also found significant differences, raising new questions about how our sun moves through the galaxy. Like oil and water, solar winds and the interstellar medium mix non-uniformly. At the very edge of the heliosphere, known as the heliopause, interstellar space begins. The measurements in this transitional area provide us with more knowledge about how the sun travels through interstellar space within the galaxy and what changes we should anticipate as a result of these movements. Scientists were able to explore these unknown regions for the first time on August 25, 2012, when Voyager 1 officially entered interstellar space. At that time, the measurement data was already shocking. 
the interstellar magnetic field was two to three times stronger than expected. This, in turn, means that interstellar particles exert about ten times the pressure on our heliosphere than previously thought. On the other side of the boundary, the interstellar medium is heated to nearly 30,000 degrees, much hotter than anticipated. Now, you might be wondering how two simple probes can withstand such temperatures, but it's quite simple. The hot plasma is so rarefied and dispersed that the average temperature around the Voyager probes is surprisingly low. Heat, like sound, can only be carried by particles. However, streams of extremely charged particles could pose a danger to the probes. No one expected such extreme conditions where they really shouldn't exist in great numbers. That's why, because these measurements are so sensational, scientists naturally wish for Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 to continue sending data to Earth for some time. A subsequent interstellar mission would take decades to reach the exact spot where the two Voyager probes are today. While other space probes are currently on trajectories beyond the solar system, they won't be able to send data from the heliopause. NASA's New Horizons spacecraft is speeding through the solar system at over 50,000 miles per hour. However, New Horizons is not equipped with batteries as powerful as the Voyager twins. When its power runs out in the 2030s, the data stream will also come to an end. So, all the attention still revolves around the Voyager mission, and engineers are doing everything possible to keep the two veterans in good physical shape. Currently, only the magnetometers and plasma analyzers continue to operate around the clock. Meanwhile, it takes over 20 hours for the data to travel back to Earth, and it can only be received with the help of three extremely powerful antennas scattered across the entire hemisphere. Voyager encountered something unknown. Significant concern arose when Voyager 1 appeared to have completely lost its orientation. Was Voyager 1 under attack by unknown forces, or what was responsible for the disorientation? Interestingly, none of the probe's protective systems had functioned, indicating that it wasn't an external threat. So what could have disrupted the telemetry data? The search for malfunctions took several weeks. The research group at NASA meticulously went through all the systems of the 40-plus-year-old spacecraft. Old blueprints were dug up for the first time since the probe's launch, and for a few days, NASA was in near panic. The loss of Voyager 1 at such a crucial stage of its mission would have been a catastrophe. All potential influences of cosmic rays on electronic components and the possibility of temperature fluctuations regarding the stability of sensitive instruments were investigated. The team examined the communication system, trying to rule out possible interference with signals from cosmic noise or other destructive factors. After several months of receiving muted data, engineer scientists managed to restore clear communication with the probe. So what had happened? In the official final report, the cause of the problem was attributed to Voyager 1's attitude control system, more specifically, a defect in what was supposed to be an inactive onboard computer. Presumably, this computer had somehow activated, although it had been deactivated for many years. Once the source of the issue was identified, engineers quickly devised a solution. They sent a signal to Voyager 1 to abandon the malfunctioning system and switch to the functional computer. Since it takes nearly 22 hours for radio waves to travel there and back, the recovery process required exceptional coordination and, most importantly, patience. Although NASA still adheres to this malfunction explanation, some independent scientists have suggested that the failure was caused by an unknown force. They compared Voyager's measurements from the area in which it was located. According to NASA, there shouldn't have been anything particular in this border region. No turbulence, no unusual phenomena. Perhaps researchers had to learn through the measurements made during the transition into interstellar space that their assumptions about the true nature of this region were mistaken. NASA claims that the error has been fixed once and for all. Voyager 1 will continue its journey and transmit data until the 2030s. An interstellar follow-up mission? However, many mysteries remain, and not all scientists adhere to a single interpretation of the concerning measurement data. To unravel the mystery of our solar system structure, we need to gain a more comprehensive understanding of the heliosphere. Astronomers want to know more about how our solar system moves through the galaxy and space. New, incredible measurement data have shown that there is still much we don't know. That's why another interstellar probe will be launched soon. The mission's goal, which will last for at least 50 years, is to span multiple generations, venturing into the outer reaches of the solar system and beyond the heliosphere. 
Today's researchers will embark on this mission, and their children or grandchildren will continue the work started on these days, weeks, and years using a probe specially designed for interstellar travel. Voyager 1 will continue its journey indefinitely. Even after the data stream runs dry, thousands of years from now, the tiny spacecraft will reach the next star system. Tell us what you think about this extraordinary discovery. How important is the exploration of the boundaries of our solar system to you? Do you believe there might be some danger lurking there?